Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forge. So when last we left off, we just moved to the planet Lanham here, and we had just finished up a couple of missions. Uh, one, we did a ambush convoy two episodes ago, which didn't actually turn out all that well. Uh, the last one, which was a capture base, wasn't so bad. So we're going to do something a little different today. Um, we're not having the big successes with uh, the ambush convoy missions where there's lots of mechs in play, but I think I want to try a noisy neighbors one here. We do need a little bit of cash. We've got enough to the end of the month, but um, I want to try and get a little bit of cash on this actual run here. So we're going to do Noisy Neighbors for the Free Worlds League and see what we get out of this. So we're going to go, I think, 1 in 5, I think, we're going to go. And we're going to go for some cash here just to give us a bit of buffer for a couple of months. Uh, we're going to accept this. And we're going to deploy. Let's get this done. All right, here we go, on the ground. All right, so I don't like the looks of this. Wow. Look at this place. It's really, uh... What's the word? Green. <laughs> really green. Just like you. All right, so we've got our enemy up here, and generally there's usually reinforcements that come from this side. So we've got two choices. One, we can kind of come up here to the right, engage these guys and try to destroy them before the reinforcements show up. Or two, we can make our way towards the reinforcements and kill them first. Uh, either way, we're risking flank attacks. Um, usually I don't mind going this direction here, because if we can get behind the hill, if they're not fast enough to catch us, we can get behind this hill here. We're pretty much safe for a few turns anyway. Trees will give us some protection. So we're going to head that direction. And we're just going to reserve first. What's up, Commander? And while we move up... Um, I've actually started my uh, um, Battletech Flashpoint series, um, the 900, so please feel free to check that out. It'll have its own uh, playlist of its own if you haven't seen it. Uh, just come into the channel and uh, check it out. It's such a huge difference than, than playing Rogue Tech. The first thing I, f I forgot was that I couldn't sprint and fire. So like I sprinted forward <laughs> with my Vindicator. I'm like, why can't I fire? Oh, oh yeah, right. You can't actually fire like that in Battletech. So in this particular, in Rogue Tech, I've just, I've, I find it um, better if I don't use jump jets, uh, only because um, uh, the extra tonnage is definitely um, needed for other things like armor and better weapons and stuff like that. So I generally. Um, just wait like I just will strip all the jump jets off right away and, and not really use them in um, Rogue Tech but in Battletech I'm finding that you, you kind of have to because you can't sprint and fire so the jump jets give you that extra little bit of mobility we don't have anybody on the left hand side yet so let's yep. go straight through the center here and let's get you up um, oh you're being blocked by everybody Yep. hey Hickory you're going last where's Pylon there you are let's get Pylon up here let's sprint him up because we can sprint and fire. So we're going to do that. I want to see what we're up against here. we got two more mechs in the background. So this is... Ooh, X5. Cicada X5. What is this? Pirate medium laser SRM2. Yeah, we saw one of these guys in the uh, store there the other day. Let's fire everything on this guy. Let's see how you like this. Ah, eh, one hit. Not bad. So there was some pretty cool stuff in the store before we uh, actually started this um, mission, but uh, no cash to buy it, and I wasn't sure what the uh, what we're going to be getting out of this one yet either. So I didn't want to go and spend some money and not make the uh, financial report at the end of the month. All right. So let's get you um, back over here. I'm going to put you in the trees. I know you're minus one hit when you're in the trees, but that's fine. We're going to fire on this guy. Okay, one hit. Structure exposed. Nice. How'd that taste? Probably didn't taste too good for him. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. You, you can do me for half a dollar. Okay, let's get in here. Right. Speed it is. We're going to fire on this guy. I'll give him the whole 
I don't think we're going to have reinforcements in this one. I think they would have showed up by now if they were going to be showing up. So, I think we might be okay. The position we in, we can always wheel left here if we have to. So, I had a look in the, the uh, mech storage bays before we came out here. And we have seven parts of a spider. So, we need one more. And we've got the next the next uh, biggest one is the, the catapult, which we've got four parts of. So that's good. That's awesome. So we got two guys that can go before this guy now. He's unstable. Alright, so Hickory's gonna yep. move. Definitely want to keep moving. moving to position. Gonna back up. Gonna fire on this guy. Two good chances to hit. Oh, missed with the second one, really? Scored a critical hit. I'm gonna use... Um, Recoil this next turn to do an offensive offensive push and we're gonna push that guy back a turn so we can finish him up Good to go. You are let's get you up here. I don't want to get you exposed. So Maybe we back up over here And we're gonna push this guy back a turn we're gonna aim for the right torso and fire Okay, at least we hit once so since we're not choosing mech parts in salvage, um, I'm just going to just blow crap up that I don't want. Um, Jenner's, nah. I mean, any extra mech will be helpful in the long run. Because if we lose one, we're definitely going to need another one. But um, there's some mechs that I definitely don't want. I know this guy's a cicada, but nice. Enemy mech destroyed. Alright, so they're all lights? Receiving you. I guess they are. Let's move... Um, I'm going to move back. I'm just going to walk it back to here. And I'm going to brace. Get our heat back. I discovered why um, the Phoenix Hawk is having trouble with these medium laser double pluses. I didn't realize, I didn't really, wasn't really watching, but they're minus one accuracy. Now, I may have seen that when I was buying them, but I don't remember seeing it. But that's why they're having such a hard time hitting. So I'm actually considering maybe um, swapping them up for regular medium lasers to get a better chance to hit. They're not going to move. Okay, Pylon, you're up. Batter up, buddy. Let's get you into here. Stay in the trees. It's, we got five chevrons of evasion. It's just a locust. Let's kill this guy as fast as we can if we can. And five misses. Because why not? I didn't hit. No. Thank you so much. It's gonna me melee. Don't play the back game. You get that's just the dumbest move. I know the I the idea behind attacking a mech in the backside. Um, is a good one, but when you're a light mech and you're doing, you're exposing your back to three others, it's really not a good idea. Wow, two smalls hits in it. <laughs> oh, you suck, dude. You should have hit him with more than that. This is another melee attack, really? It's coming in here. Another Jenner, Jenner A. We have a few Jenner parts too. We have an oxide. I don't think that counts as a Jenner, even though it's the same chassis. I think we have one part of the oxide. Jenner A, large, yeah, we gotta kill this guy too. So, yeah. alright, Hickory, let's just uh, step back here. Hickory, Dickory, Doc, shoot this, this uh, locust in the back. Okay. <laughs> that laugh. That's awesome. Okay, can we get behind this? We should be able to get behind the Jenner. Let's just sprint it over here. That's good enough. I think this guy's probably an urban mech. He's moving really slow. So we're going to shoot this guy in the back. Oh, nice. That's a lot more than I thought that was going to hit. Alright, let's see what they do. We got two guys that go early. They got two guys that go early. Comes the Locust. Okay, so he's already moved, so we're going to ignore him for now. He's 
completely unstable. Uh, recoil is going to take advantage of this opportunity. That's a side hit. Looks like that's blue. I got to get right here. Okay, that's green. There we go. Move order received. Just trying to stay in the trees here. Can't okay, fire everything. This guy's backside. Wow. We need to have a talk when we get back to the ship, dude. One hit. Javelin. We got a couple of javelin parts too. Not many. I think we got like one or two or something. Okay, Hickory. What do you need? See what we got here. 34 on this guy. 60% on this guy. Actually, let's move 99% um, on that guy. 60. Still 34 here. So we're going to take the dagger out. Sorry, Locust. I keep calling him daggers. Forgive me. Wow, he's still going? He just took 90 points damage. Oh. Oh, right, because we took out Bolivar's Torsos. Oh, he's going to play the back game. Man. I'm going to give you to a pylon here. Do we have this... Hmm. That's a side attack for the other guy, so we're going to move up to here. It's not the best positioning, but... Roger that. There we go. Five hits. Bye-bye. Okay, cold metal. Step it back here. Let's fire over the locust's head. Or, sorry, fire... <laughs> fire over our guy's head. Nice! The big weapon's hit. I'm liking this loadout now. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. See what he does here. You better have uh, Ace Pilot. Yeah. Why? All right, Hickory, you don't even need to move. Just unload on this guy, please. Wow, two misses at 72%? You did. Uh, we forgive you, though, because you are such a great... Uh, um, you normally hit almost all the time, so completely forgive you. Fire everything. Goes the right arm. Should be able to finish this up real fast here. So let's get cold metal over here. Once again, flank attack. See if we can burrow through to the center torso. And we're going to overheat, so we'll leave off SRM-4. Yeah. There we go, folks. Just that simple. Well, it's a good thing we don't get a lot of salvage on this one, because there really isn't much to salvage. We got our buffer cash now for the end of the month. 370,000, nice. And no component loss, no real armor damage. Okay, look at all those javelin parts that we got a chance to get. Nice. Lots of mech parts. So large laser is a possibility. SRM2 double plus. Triple plus. Plus 2 damage, 50% critical hits, plus 1 accuracy. It's an SRM2 though, so I don't know. Endosteel. Ferrofibrous. Cockpit injury upgrade. I know we need those. Double heat sinks. Okay, so there was a good good amount of stuff here that we could have used. So Endo Steel, we got enough for everybody, I believe. Ferrofibrous, 10 reserve slots, minus 12%. Or do we want to go with the Endo Steel as backup? cockpit I don't think we need as much anymore well the injury resist is nice so much good stuff here for this level anyway um, I'm gonna go for, well, I don't know yeah let's just go with Pharaoh for now oh, I'm gonna take that cockpit 
I'm going to take the cockpit. I shouldn't, but I'm going to take the cockpit. We need them. Okay, so we got Jenner, two Locust parts, and a CDA X5 part. Ah, well. Okay. 26,000 in repairs. Excellent. Ah, let her keep working on it. Let's see what we got. if we can get anything from this medium laser. Ooh, we got a medium laser plus. She gets, she gets an injury, though. Plus one accuracy. Nice. All right. So, I got to decide now. Centurion work in progress. So, let's put... Um, let's go to the mech bays. I think what I'm going to do is... Phoenix Hawk, let's refit it. And we are going to put both of, let's take this medium laser out, and let's get our bonus medium laser now. Put that in here, and let's go and get our cockpit. Injury resist, and we're going to drop that in as well. This guy's on the front line, so it's nice to have that in there. And we'll just confirm, two days, not bad. All right. Well, that'll be our episode for Rogue Tech for today. Um going to get our guys healed up before the next time. Bad 213,000. And Raiders out of action, but that's okay. We're going to we're going to get our uh, pilots back here. Job's done. Thank you. And then next time when we come back, we're going to try and pull another mission here on this planet. Um, we'll f see if we can do a one and a half skull mission, depending on what they have here. We can st slowly start moving our way up. I think our lance is pretty tight right now. Um, yeah, so if you like the episode, please drop a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and until the next time, I'll see you later.